Cultural diversity, traditions and customs are showcased as true Africanism. The uniqueness of each tribe comes with its traditional practices. The Amambonte Mese Nation contributed 70 cows to the Lobola or dowry paid to the Amangwangule real family. This to ensure that their king, Luzuko Matiwane, customarily marries Princess Sionwa Bele Langa. The 44-year-old king's marriage to the 23-year-old princess was arranged. The Amambonte Mese believed there would be no quarrel between his wives as the right processes were followed. The queen must agree if the king has to take another wife. So, so there is no problem as long as there is a, a, an agreement and it's a, a practice in a democratized uh, fashion. Uh, even the culture evolves, as you know, so this, uh, even the polygamy itself is an evolving uh, cultural practice. Despite the marriage being arranged, the princess family says she was not forced into the union. She was not coerced in any way. Um, she was made to believe that it's, it's actually it's a responsibility to take upon herself. So she had to think very hard about it. Uh, so it was, we, we as a family basically, we are very, very happy about the whole thing, including, including the, 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 the Lobola part. <laughs> According to the custom, the chosen wife is the one to bear the head to the throne. However, this has caused conflict in some royal houses with first wives or their children saying they are the rightful heirs to the throne. Those advocating to preserve traditions believe Western culture should not be allowed to influence African customs. The child that will come from her is actually, if it, if it, if it is a, um, the child is a, is a, is a male, uh, or is a, is, a, is a son who will come, come, come here, will, will be the future king of Omambondomse. Okay. That's what is important. So, so it guides succession in that way, in that way. There's no question about it. So it's not just polygamy. It's a very, proto it's, a, it's a protocol, you know, and uh, that actually guides succession in different nations and then so forth. The newlyweds are looking forward to building the Omambondomse nation together. I'm really looking forward to building the nation as I am now part of the Amampundumise nation. I am really looking forward to build the nation, um, build union towards the community. I'm very happy. The reception here is amazing. I'm over the moon and I'd like to promise the Amangongule royal family that I will take care of the queen and continue to build the nation. Despite this custom being practiced around the continent, some believe it contributes to the infringement of the rights of women in Africa. This sketch of polygamous marriages must come to an end. I know that some of the people would say, as an activist, I should be aware that traditions, culture, and customs are protected by the Constitution. But if they violate other people's rights, then they should not be done. They must come to an end. Despite beliefs that polygamy is patriarchy and violates women's rights, the Amambondumse tribe spent over 100 years fighting for its kingdom. Now they want to do things according to the traditions and culture of the nation. I'm Grule Kunyembezi, SABC News, Paul St. John's.